Hi, this is Java Tips. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up Trust 2.3 with Eclipse. Right click, select New Dynamic Web Project. Choose any name for the project. Then click Next. Check Generate Web.xml, then click Finish. Right click to the project, select configure, convert to Maven project, then click finish. Click on palm.xml to edit the file. Add dependencies tag. Go to Maven repository website to get dependencies. Search for Trust2 Core. Choose the latest stable version. Copy and paste to the palm file. Clean and build the project to download and add Maven dependencies to the project build path. Under Web Content, Web in, open web.xml to register sublet filter and filter mapping. A filter dynamically intercepts incoming requests and outgoing responses to transform or use the information containing them. The filter handles both the preparation and execution phases of the trust patching process. Web container uses filter mappings to decide how to apply filter to web sources. A filter mapping matches a filter to a web component by name or by URL button. Under Web In, create classes folder. Right click to the folder, select New, Other. Under XML, select XML file, animate trust.xml, then click Finish. Go to Google and choose Trust2DTD. Copy doctide definition and paste to the file. Trust is the root element. The package element has one required attribute, name, which is the key for later reference to the package. The extends attribute is optional and allows the package to inherit the configuration of one or more previous packages. Action element represent an action mapping. The action name will be used in view pages. Action element maps an action to a class by specifying package and name in class attribute. and specifies the method to be executed. When an action class method completes, return the string 
The value of the string is used to select result element. An action mapping can have a set of results representing different possible outcomes. Right click to the project, select new, class, enter class name and package, same at we declare in trust.xml. Trust true action class, extend the action support class. Declare a private property. Right click to the class, select sort, generate, getter, and setter. Select all, then click OK. Write an action method to return outcome to the termin, which view will be returned to the browser. Override. Validate method to validate user input. No pointer exception is the most common exception in Java. There are several ways to avoid it. Equals ignore case compares to string objects, ignoring case consideration. Action methods render methods that to be used by trust action message tag in the view page. Action errors. Renders messages that to be you by stress action error tab in the view page. Right click to web content, select new, JSP file, and name it, hello.jsp. To use talk libraries on the view page, you must include the talk library directive. The prefix is the string that you choose and use in your JSP page with any talk from the library. Use trust action error chart to display error in case it exists. In this example, we just use a normal HTML form. Action is the action that we declare in trust.xml. And an HTML text box. And name attribute is the property name of the action. and a submit button create another JSP file and name it welcome.jsp declare trust tab library directive
and simply use trust action message tag to display message from the action. Go to Window menu, select Show View, Other. Under Server, select Servers, then click OK. Click to the link to add new server. Tomcat 7 Server, then click Next. Browse to where you install Tomcat. Select the folder, then click OK. Click Install JREs, remove existing one, and add new one. Click Directory to select the path to the root directory of a JDK installation. Select the folder, then click OK. Click Finish. Check the JDK, then click OK. Change the JRE, then click Finish. Right click to the project, select Build Path, Configure Build Path. Edit JRE System Library under Library, and change to the JDK, then click Finish. Click Apply. Click OK. Clean and build the project. Right click to Tomcat server, select Add and remove. Deploy the application by moving it to the right, then click Finish. Start Tomcat server. Open web browser and type. Type a name, then submit. The application doesn't recognize you. Enter mic, then submit. Congratulations, 